Hey everyone, today this video is going to show you how you can daily spam on the Devout Cleric. Uh, as if the Cleric wasn't already powerful enough, you can actually utilize the at-wills and cancel the at-wills in order to help build up your daily. No, this isn't new news, but if you are making the Cleric or you are wondering, what is, why are these Clerics like, you know, spazzing out in these runs and stuff? I personally don't utilize this because I don't rely on this angel like daily spam to like really make my play style but some people do utilize it and do spam their dailies a lot and having that that guardian up all the time is you know it's a really good benefit but it does make you look a little funny and the, I don't like the play style of it in general I do like to kind of relax when I'm playing so you know spamming and at will and animation canceling it it's not really my style but if you are interested in seeing how other clerics do it, um, I'm going to show you today how you can also do it. Um, some other things that you can do, you don't have to actually have these on, but the, um, the burning weapons do give you extra boost of AP gain when you use your daily. So uh, there is an internal cooldown on it, so if you do get really good at this uh, animation cancel spamming your daily thing, you might not have it at each daily, but it is another benefit if you have the burning set. If not, don't worry about it. You're better off using the Mastercraft set. That's what I would first recommend. But this is another added benefit to uh, building up your dailies really fast. So we have two at wills here um, that you can actually animation cancel. That being Scattering Light and Blessing of Light. You do need to be in combat for the Blessing of Light um, at will to actually build daily. So we have to try and stay in combat for this one to show you how it's done. Um, but for the scattering light, I'll show you here how you can just animation cancel it by simply hitting RB, uh, which RB normally would be like your heal uh, on whoever you have marked. But if you just tap it a lot, that will allow for you to animation cancel it. And you look a little funny when you do it, like you can really get really fast at it. Again, I don't specialize in doing this, so I am not even the pro at it. If you get really good at this and you really start figuring it out, um, you know, you can spam dailies. This isn't really my play style, but I'll show you once I use a daily. The burning set's gonna automatically give me some of that AP gain already. And then you can just keep at willing with the scattering light. And if you go faster, it will build faster. Which is pretty insane. It's super insane because the cleric's already so powerful, so you don't really need this, but Notice the angel is still going to be up, and you're going to spam it again, but this time the burning set's not going to proc at the bottom. You're going to not get that extra AP gain from it because it still has its 30 second cooldown, which that means you're getting your daily every 30 seconds. Mind you, you have to be in combat for these things to take effect, and you can build it faster or slower. Once you get really good at it, you can really build dailies fast. Once I hit it this time, you'll see that I will get the burning set. So if you do it this way, in between each, every two dailies, you'll be able to get that burning set bonus proc. That's going to give you the extra AP gain. Um, but it won't happen every time. So that's just a little bit on that one. Um, which, you know, again, that's very overpowered, especially in trials. That means you can keep this up all the time. But that also means that you really never have to hit another heal. So your encounters kind of become not really even that important um, to use. Obviously, you could probably use an intercession if the tank needed something. Um, or you can even use exaltation to boost your outgoing healing. Um, but yeah, it, it's not my play style. I don't like to play that way, but if you do see clerics doing that, that's exactly what they're doing. Um, if you're in combat and you use that daily, and you, if you're in combat and you hit the blessing at will, you can also cancel that. There's a certain distance you have to go in order for it to proc, so you can't just really quickly spam it quite the same you just kind of get a groove of it and because i'm in and out of combat on, in and out of combat a lot here it's hard for me to do, show you that but yeah just canceling it like right around here um you you can see here it's just canceling it really fast that's going to also build your daily but you do have to be in combat for that to really um for me to really show you that so if anyone's interested in how it's done on the cleric that's simply it so if you have your um, at will on your right trigger 
um, or whatever platform you play on. You have your at will on one key bind. You're just going to interrupt it with your tab or your RB really fast, and that's going to build dailies really fast. So that's just a little piece of advice if anyone's been interested in that. Um, I'm going to be bringing out a full-blown Devout Cleric build soon, uh, showing you how I get all of my 90% stats. Um, you know, they as they proc through, it's kind of fun to see them all boop up and everything once everything procs. And uh, yeah, I wanted to show you guys a new build for Mod 21 as well for the Cleric. That'll be coming out really soon. Um, so yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did, feel free to like and subscribe. I truly appreciate all of the support that you guys have been giving me. Thank you so much, and have a great day.